In a previous video I made, I covered the basis for understanding neutrinos and the recent discoveries regarding their oscillating mass. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to click on the annotation on the screen, or click the link in the description. Now, onto the implications of this discovery. Neutrinos are incredibly small, hard to detect, and nearly massless. What possible implications can they have? Although not noticeable in everyday life, it provides a unique tool to probe beyond standard model physics up to very high scales, and it has, and will, open the door to a large variety of theoretical works related to very fundamental questions. There are two possible types of mass a neutrino can have, Dirac mass or Majorana mass. Dirac mass is more or less normal mass, as in any Dirac fermion is not its own antiparticle. For example, the antiparticle of an electron is a positron. It has Dirac mass, but a Majorana fermion is its own antiparticle. It sounds ridiculous, I know. That's why the standard model doesn't contain this. It requires new physics beyond the standard model. Neutrinos are acting as the arena for work beyond the standard model by acting like a Majorana particle. The difference between Majorana fermions and Dirac fermions can be expressed mathematically in terms of the creation and annihilation operators of second quantization. The creation operator, we'll just call this YTJ, creates a fermion in quantum state J, described by a real wave function. Whereas the annihilation operator, YJ, annihilates it, or equivalently creates the corresponding antiparticle. For a Dirac fermion, the operators YTJ and YJ are distinct, whereas for a Majorana fermion, they are identical. I might even make an entire video series on the new physics needed. For example, the Seesaw models, which I will cover in a later video. The implications of neutrino masses brings us a step closer to a grand unified theory. There are a few possibilities, though. Either neutrino mass is caused by one of the Seesaw models, or by something stranger. Neutrino masses can be caused by a breaking of the R parity. Other examples include the breaking of supersymmetry, the possibilities of two extra dimensions, and the existence of dark energy. But for this video, we'll stick with the first option. Assuming the neutrino has Dirac mass, let's go over the breaking of the R parity. We're all familiar with the standard model. The world of particle physics contains something strange though. It's called the Minimal Supersymmetric Standard Model or MSSM for short. It's the extension of the standard model that includes supersymmetry. Supersymmetry pairs bosons and fermions. Therefore, every particle in the standard model has a counterpart that has yet to be found. Our parity is a concept in particle physics. In the MSSM, baryon number and lepton number are no longer conserved by all the renormalizable couplings in the theory. Since baryon number and lepton number conservation has been tested very precisely, these couplings need to be very small in order not to conflict with the experimental data. Our parity is a symmetry acting on the MSSM fields that forbids these couplings and can be defined in the equation on the screen, where S is spin, B is baryon number, and L is lepton number. All standard model particles have R parity of plus one, while supersymmetric particles have R parity of negative one. So how would neutrino mass break the R parity if one of these seesaw models turns out to be wrong? There are four different options that all seem to explain it at first glance, but they break other physical parameters. One breaks the fact that we don't observe neutron and antineutron oscillations. Two break the Fermi constant, and the last leads to large neutrino masses. These are still possibilities though, because masses can be induced in the MSSM field at the price of breaking the R parity. But the biggest problem lies not with the things we don't observe, but with the things we do. If the R parity is broken, protons could decay anywhere between 10 to the negative 2 seconds or a year. R parity sets all of the renormalizable baryon and lepton number violating couplings to zero, and the proton is stable, and the lifetime of the proton is increased to 10 to the 32 years. And that is nearly consistent with current observational data of proton decay being at 10 to the 34 years. In conclusion, it's possible that neutrino mass breaks the R parity, but it's still highly unlikely because it wouldn't explain the incredibly small mass of the neutrino. The universe is ours to explore. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to this channel. 
Tell us what you think in the comments below, and if you learned something, consider sharing this video. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time.